Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is August 12th and it's a Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. And um, you know this week it was on the warmer side. The beginning of the week was warmer but uh, today is a high of 80 and that's nice. This is what I wish summer was like. Um, my dad and my cousin, I'm assuming my uncle Bob is going to be with them but they're going to be moving heifers here so I'm going to hook the, the truck that I drive up to the cattle trailer um, so they don't have to and then I'm going to get to a couple of things one I want to treat animals because I feel like uh, respiratory disease which is like a <clears throat> I think an infection in the lungs that's starting to become a more prevalent now so I'm going to have to go through the heifers treat ones that need to be treated I also gave my mic cover a trim or <laughs> so it doesn't look like it has so it doesn't have an eyebrow. But we're pumping manure down to the cow barn down there. So, yep, that's what I was saying. We're pumping manure down to the lower cow barn because this cow barn here gets a lot of washed down water from, from the parlor. Uh, this barn actually, the pit does not go the whole way across. The drive through through the center where the mixer drives across actually splits the barn in half. There's no pit underneath that. So, yeah, it's a little, there's less pit space. And then actually yesterday, my dad was pumping from that cow barn into the next barn, our heifer barn, because that barn's getting full, because we're pumping manure down from up here. So it's kind of a circus, but it is what it is. And that heifer barn that I said, that will be a cow barn here when everything's all, all said and done. Hopefully all our milking cows from that barn down. That is getting curb work done, freestall work done. I'm not sure how much work. I mean, I don't know if we're just going to be gutting out the inside of that and redoing a bunch of it. That's probably what's going to happen, but that'll be for heifers then. So pretty much half of this pen that I'm watching and listening, half of the pen is at least coughing. Their feed intake isn't as much either. So I think what I'm just going to do is treat every single animal in this pen just to be safe. Um, catch at the very early stages and it should all be good then I don't have to come back to these ladies you think you're all that just because you're six feet tall and hold a camera no one asked 3373 you might be like Ashton their pen looks mad poopy well I mean it kind of is but it's kind of not this is shaving so it, it's it's dry in there but we uh, dump shavings in for the first time and then after that we'll go and straw Look at this bonding time between farmer and animal. I appreciate friendly heifers like this. Well, she was she was skittish at first, but I uh, showed her that I'm not gonna hurt her. Even though they see us every day, they still think we're out there to get them. It's okay. Yep. All right, I think I'm done. Yesterday afternoon, I went through this barn. Um, bunch of random ones in our pens but here was the worst they didn't finish their feed and it was, it was four pens so four out of 14 not bad it's only 40 animals I didn't have to treat every single one but you know I treated enough that's for sure cows no cows cows no cows cows no cows check out the lawn whip Time to mow grass. Yay. Whoop whoop. I don't know how well Mike, but we're gonna see if my mic can even pick up my voice. About 50 minutes until noon, might as well start. 
cleaning up around the cow barns. From the last time I did this, oh, I forget how long ago that was. The buildup isn't that bad, but there's just one spot I never got. Uh, mostly because we don't pump out of this side, but I'm cleaning it up right along here. I mean, it's up to the wood. That's yeah, probably almost, you know, eight, nine inches of sawdust along the edge here. I'm gonna clean that up. The other barns are fine, so. Now I just gotta walk back to the skid loader. Since I got this mic, when I edit these videos, I can tell my voice is a little bit more clear, so hopefully it is for you guys. Uh, drop a comment if you think it ha if it's if it has improved. All right, things are going pretty good. I'm using the piggy bucket to clean up feed because the other bucket is not there. I don't know why. I don't know where it's at, but it's being used. So yeah. I'm uh, not worried about doing, I mean, I want to do a decent job and get most of it, but um, I'll come back with a shovel, but yeah, um, I'm getting somewhere. I'm back a little later than I wanted to, I had some stuff to do at the house, but uh, now I'm just going to do some fun work with the shovel and then I got to my chore, I got chores to do then, my afternoon chores that is, and then feeding. Good thing I thought of this before I disturbed it all, or I got rid of it all. Um, so each one of these layers is just crazy. You can see how long this earth has been here. I'm saying each one of these layers is probably around 100 years. There's one, there's two, three, four, five. It just keeps going. That, that That's probably a build up from over like a million years old. Yeah, a million years old, guys. That's probably how old. Pro, that's probably how old it is. This earth is like a million bajillion, gazillion years old. Walking. Now it's time to dispose of the sh uh, leftover rotten shavings properly to the stack shed. We go. It's a couple days later um, because I felt like I didn't have enough content. But anyway, I'm gonna be uh, vaccinating calves. We actually switched products to a nasal product and 10th uh, generation that YouTube channel. They actually used to use that stuff, but now he's using Pyramid. And we used to use Pyramid, so I just find it funny. Uh, over time, calves, or animals in general, can build up uh, resilience against the product, so that's why we switched. The pyramid stuff had a pink color to it. This stuff is blue. All sorts of colors. It's upside down, that's cool. All right, anyway, what I was saying earlier, uh, 10th gen, they were using the pyramid stuff, and it, I just thought it was funny to hear them say two cheesies underneath the skin. Like, we just pretty much switched products. <laughs> now we're doing the nasal stuff. For this stuff, it's just one cc in each nostril. Uh, you don't have to shove the whole, I mean, I take the needle off. I need the needle to get the vaccine, but I don't, you don't have to shove the syringe up their nose you just squirt it up there and yeah uh, the nose must be a very sensitive spot on their body that it, it can absorb that and one thing i noticed they like lick their nose then too and also wow i uh last week it would have been two weeks ago my dad went up to ag progress days so he had a couple people recognize him 
I didn't go. I couldn't go. I'm hoping to go next year. No promises though, but I would really like to go next year. I actually never got to go before, so. All right, ladies, you guys ready? Are you ladies ready? Diesel, are you ready? You, you ready? You ready, guys? You ready? Eric, I don't know how you do this. This is my second time doing it. Because we stopped doing it because our heifers were doing pretty good, but don't laugh at me too much, please. there if they're friendly enough i can get away with letting them suck on my finger and i can give them the nasal vaccine i don't know where i can put the camera though other than on the ground scooby boo okay now that i'm done giving the calves blue boogies i'd like you to meet bertha she's a big old calf I mean, look at her size comparison. Yeah. Don't ask me why they're not in order. It's two, three, six, five. What you know, whatever. I don't know. And obviously, we lost a couple kids here. It it, ha it it seems like it happens like that. But yeah, she's a friendly old girl. She's big. Call her Bertha, Bessie, wherever you want. Put some names in the comments for her. Okay, 1126, Same with you, 1119. 135 hours a day, 642. Thank you, big tag. 1004. How you, how you doing this fine Monday morning? So, you guys might be wondering, why are these penned off? They can't go back to their barn. You're right, they can't. It's because they're getting another group, and they don't want the groups getting mixed up. Come on, ladies, move it or lose it. Please. They act like they haven't done this before. But yeah, here's an example of what I said about in the past. People ask, do cows want to get milked? I mean, look at them. No one's, no one's behind them right now. They're just down there getting the group, and they walk, and then they walk up the rest of the way by themselves. Diesel found a whole roll of duct tape. Mitch thinks it was, well, it was in the transition barn. He thought it was in a bale. Here, buddy, can I have it? By the way, Diesel's mixed with a yellow lab and a German shepherd. So that's where the, his look comes in. I'm gonna give her a good throw here. Want this old piece of duct tape? He gone. It's after lunch here, and uh, we're uh, my dad's oh, doing something. Yeah, here. There you go. So these sideboards here. Well, this side got messed up. Uh, I believe when we were hauling chicken litter uh, from a pit, a wheel loader. Well, we're replacing this a couple of sideboards. The other side's bent. So I don't know if my dad plans on doing that or not. This is OSHA approved because that's an enclosed box. And then you can tell this side here. That's the side that's bent. Um, yeah, so I don't know if my dad wants to replace that or not. But we're definitely replacing this side because this side was busted up. Yeah. You can see he's wood missing. 
Where do you want me to move you? Um, I guess. I'm trying to decide what I want to do for you then. I guess go between the next two. chores I didn't have the camera because you know I was in a rush I had to get back here and I got the new piece of wood up but now we're just fastening it I'm assuming we're gonna be doing more because there's obvious there's more wood over there in the cart honestly guys I think this is gonna be the end of the video I'll show the complete project. Oh, he needs me to move. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. God bless. Stay safe.